Hello friends! Today I'm going to be reading to you a story that has a character most of you or some of you might have seen before. It's Humpty Dumpty and if you don't know he's an egg that sits on a wall and it's from a nursery rhyme so I'm gonna say it to you just a short version so it's Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men could not put Humpty together again. So, if you think that he's an egg, what might happen if you fall off? You get cracks or you get broken. So, you can only imagine how Humpty might be feeling when he falls off this wall and he can't be put back together again. So, this book is about, is called After the Fall, How Humpty Dumpty Got Back Up Again. So, think about how this might apply in your life and sometimes you get knocked down or you get a little crack and you want to figure out how you can fix it or get back up again. So... Also, look at these pictures. They are just so detailed and pretty. Look at Humpty up there on his wall. My name is Humpty Dumpty. This was my favorite spot, high up on the wall. I know, it's an odd place for an egg to be. But I loved being close to the birds. Then one day, I fell. I'm sort of famous for that part. Folks called it the Great Fall, which sounds a little grand. It was just an accident, but it changed my life. So look at this wall, looks pretty big. Fortunately, all the king's men managed to put me back together again. Look at his bandages, but he's still a little cracked. Well, most of me. There were some parts that couldn't be healed with bandages and glue. Have any of you ever felt like that? You just, whatever your problem is, can't be fixed with bandages and glue. After that day, I became afraid of heights. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. Look at the cereals on top compared to these. Look at those colors, so pretty. Flax, Bland, Chia. All the boring stuff is on the bottom, but he's too scared. I walked past the wall every day and I would think about climbing that ladder again. I really missed the birds and being high above the city, but I could never do it because I knew that accidents can happen. I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. Then one day, an idea flew by. He has his binoculars. Making plans was harder than I thought. It was easy to get cuts and scratches. Oof, I know we've all had that happen to us, right? But day after day, I kept trying and trying. I want you to look at his faces every time here. <laughs> Until I got it just right. Look at that. My plane was perfect and it flew like nothing could stop it. I hadn't felt that happy in a long time. It wasn't the same as being up in the sky with the birds, but it was close enough. What did he do? He kind of just settled, right? He settled for kind of what maybe would make him happy, even though there was something out there that he actually really wanted. Unfortunately, accidents happen. Oh no, his biggest fear of an accident happen, happening. They always do. Oh no. Maybe pause and make a prediction on what you think is about to happen. I almost walked away again. But then I thought about the time I'd spent working on my plane and all the other things I'd missed. 
I decided I was going to climb that wall. But the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it. I was terrified. Has this ever happened to you? When you were finally faced with one of your fears and then the middle of it, you were kind of thinking, oh no, this was not a good idea. I think that's how Humpty was probably feeling right now. I didn't look up. I didn't look down. I just kept climbing one step at a time. And that's a good way for us to look at things. If, if it's hard for us, maybe on an assignment, we just take it one step at a time. Or if you're on the monkey bars, just one bar at a time. Look at him reaching high. Until I was no longer afraid. Look at that face. He's so happy. He overcame his fear. Maybe now you won't think of me as that egg who was famous for falling. I want you to notice here he's cracking, but he didn't fall. Hopefully you'll remember me as the egg who got back up. How is he feeling? I love this part. This one has no words, but look what's happening. And learned how to fly. Look at this picture. So his shell broke loose and he became one of the birds, which is so cute because chickens are bird or eggs are have chickens and they're the type of bird. But I just love this book because it showed how Humpty overcame his fears and so can you. Because after Humpty had been broken so many times, he still never gave up and I bet he can now reach these cool cereals on the top. So I hope you guys enjoyed this book and I will see you guys next time. Bye.